3, 2, 1. In this video we will look at the steps needed to complete the initial configuration of a Windows Server 2012 R2 core installation. In particular we will look at using sconfig to change the host name, set a static IP address, join a domain and configure remote desktop. Let's get started. First thing we need to do is log into the server. and run sconfig. Next we need to choose option 2 to change the computer's name. Enter a new host name and press enter. When asked if you want to reboot, click yes. Log in again and again run sconfig. Next, we want to set a static IP address. To do this, press 8 and press enter for network settings. Choose your network card by the index number, so in my example is 10. And then next choose 1 to set the network adapter address, choose S for static and enter an IP address. Enter a subnet mask. And enter a default gateway. Next, you need to set some DNS servers, so press number 2 and then press enter and enter your DNS servers. Now press 4 to go back to the main menu. Next, let's join domain. So press 1. Then press D for domain, and enter the name of the domain. Enter a user that's allowed to join the server to the domain. Enter the password. Press enter. When asked if you want to change the computer's name before you restart, click no. Then click yes to restart. Log into the server again, but this time use the domain account. Run sconfig again. Now choose 7 to configure remote desktop. Choose E for enable and number 2 to allow remote desktop from clients running any version. A little box will pop up to confirm that. RDP is enabled. Right, so that's it. We've configured our Windows Server 2012 R2 core installation. We've given it a static IP address. We've changed the host name and we've joined it to a domain and also we've enabled remote desktop. That's it for this video. Look out for more coming soon.